hi guys welcome back to another video on this channel <laughs> i got it right this time right so today i'm going to be talking to you i should have posted this video i should have done this video earlier but anyway today i'm going to be talking about lewis tomplinson all of those voices so i went to see it on wednesday last wednesday after work on my own yeah i know i went to the cinema on my own but you know what you know yolo first time i ever done it, it was actually all right got there um as soon as i walked in i saw two girls taking pictures next to um there was a poster on a thing and it said lewis thomas and all the voices so i saw them taking a picture there and then um i was gonna say oh, i don't even know where to go <laughs> i just looked to my to my right and i see lewis tomplinson <laughs> so i was like right i know where to go so i thought right let me go toilet I went to the toilet because you know what my blood is like and then i came back and then i went in there the adverts were literally going on for like 15 minutes it said that it started at 6 30 we didn't even what didn't even start until like past seven so when the adverts were going on i needed to wee so i thought fuck it i'm gonna go wee now and just i had to wee again i know and then you know to be fair the cinema the cinema weren't even that busy like it was it was a there was a few girls in there i was like sitting kind of near the front on this side i was on the right side one two three so basically there was two seats in front of me and then my row was a, a row of three i don't know why my eyes are watering so much guys it's always have i think it's because i've basically i've put my lamp my side lamp like that so it's facing me um so i get more yeah light. so there was two seats in front of me then i was on a row of three in front but yeah it was quite there was a lot of empty seats to be honest but there was a few people that got there and i was in, literally just deleted all of my pictures and some of my apps to try and record this video without getting interrupted for the hundredth time today right anyway hey guys so I'm gonna just have to use this Snapchat camera and see how, how long this is gonna last because it will keep cutting out. Um, yeah, so there's two things like the reason that it's quite empty. And sorry if I'm repeating myself, but it's because I've just had to stop, start, stop, start to try and get this video done. Now, if I'm being honest with you, I fucking loved it. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a Nile Horan girl, I'm a Nyla, been a Hello Lover. You know, I love Niall. I've always been a Niall girl. Louis Tomlinson is my favourite. And his sister's called Phoebe. And my name's Phoebe. So, and Phoebe Thompson. Phoebe T Tomlinson. Louis Tomlinson. Hello. Written in the stars. But yeah, no, Louis, he's, he, I would say out of all the five boys, he was the funniest. And I really did, like, I love, like, when This Is Us came out, I saw that in the cinema. But yeah, when this, uh, Okay, when so I I've just had to do it again. Yeah, so when it first came out, I got really excited, but I was also really scared because I didn't know what to expect. But I knew he would be talking about, like, his time in One Direction, you know, like, how he felt when it ended, about his really low career, about his mother's death, about his sister's death, um, just everything. Uh, his son, Freddie, as well. Honestly, I loved every single minute of that documentary. And... I would defo watch it all again and I would definitely recommend it to you guys. I kind of do miss the fact that obviously I didn't go with anyone, but none of my close lot, like my girls, they're not really directioners like me. They never went through that phase. Only I went through that phase. Where's my directioners? <laughs> but um, yeah, no, it was really good. I really enjoyed it. I did tear up at a few moments. Like I got really yeah, upset. Time in one direction and uh, like how he felt like his relationships with the band members and everything else and like how he feels about doing a solo career i'm not gonna lie one of louis songs is actually one of my favorite songs ever so much so that i'm actually getting the um the song title tattooed on my arm which i've actually got booked very soon i think i'm gonna vlog when i get my tattoos um i'm not gonna tell you i'm just gonna let you guys see when i do the video I'm gonna leave it as a little surprise i'm excited i'm gonna get something here 
and then I'm going to get the lyric name there. But I'm not going to say, you just have to see when I do the video for that for that one. But um, yeah, going back to his documentary, all those voices, it was really good. Like, really good. Um, and all the, the bit with his son, where I think, um, I can't remember who it was, I think it was his manager, or his... No, it was some. It was a man. He was like, "Oh, Lewis would fly twenty hours just to spend time with Freddie because Freddie lives in LA and Lewis obviously travels. But I think he lives in London, um, just to see his son. Like that, that touched me as well because I don't think him and the mum are together. They must not be because she weren't in it at all. She wasn't even mentioned. Um, we got to see his nan and granddad. He's really got a nice." good relationship with Nana I felt like he's one of your own like I, f I genuinely feel like Lewis is probably the boy version of me like I feel like you know but every single um clip in this thing the fucking Lewis had a fag every single bit of this documentary you need to calm down there was a funny moment in his documentary his vocal coach went Louis yeah he's like he's like that <laughs> she done that Everyone started laughing. <laughs> no, but li you can tell Louis is a softie. Like, you, you can tell he's a very good brother. He's a very good son. He's a very good dad. Just praises go out to Louis because he's fucking an amazing person. And I fucking love him so much. And I hope I meet him one day, hopefully. What made me laugh as well in the documentary, there was a bit where the fans were, like, banging on his, on his bus. And he was shouting out the window, Careful! Careful! And then he went don't get clever <laughs> and and the and we all just started laughing it was really funny and then there was a bit where freddie sees him live in concert for the first time that got me emotional because lewis was like lewis started tearing up and then it, when freddie saw him backstage he was like oh out of all those people i was just looking at you and also hit lewis's best friend is his basically his pa and uh in the documentary, we see Lewis's first solo show, and then behind the camp, like behind the stage, sorry, his name's called Oliver, and Oliver goes, <gasps> he goes, Ooh, I think that was better than the One Direction days, <laughs> and then everyone starts, everyone starts laughing, and it was just so honestly, it was so good. And then this quote has actually stuck with me from this documentary. One of his band members, there was all there was a scene where they're all in like a swimming pool. They all got a big, big pint of beer, and his band member goes, "Maximum bless, zero stress, baby." And or what was it? Maximum bless, minimum stress, and that is stuck with me. And I actually use that sometimes now, and it's so good. You um, can tell that Lewis's people who keeps around him are good, good energy, good vibes, good everything. And the bit where he was talking about his mum got me emotional as well. It was so... Because you can just... That was the bit where he was like, Yeah, I remember when I lost my virginity and I called up my mum. And all the girls, we all just started laughing. He was like, you know, it's something you chat to your boys about. <laughs> and then, um, honestly, I really do... I loved it. I would definitely watch it again because it was so good. And there was a lot of funny moments in it. And Freddie's so cute. And there was a bit where... <laughs> Lewis was like, oh, um, basically he weren't ready to quit the band. And I think deep down, I think us directioners knew that, like out of everyone, um, that he was the most, you know, not the most, but he was very like, he, you know, not that he weren't good enough because he was amazing. There was also a bit that got me sad when he was talking about his verse. Yeah, sorry. There was a bit where he was talking about his verse in the first album. Of one direction and he was like yeah i went into the thing i told them i want to be on the verse da, da, da. and the guy was like really singing with me and then they played them the song and lewis weren't on the verse and he got really upset and he was like what's my role in this band da, da, da. and then I, I back in the day we were, i think we were a bit too naive i think some people did realize that him and now didn't get enough solos and him and now are actually my top nile louis then the others <laughs> but um yeah no it's quite sad actually and then he was like oh the this is what quote he stuck with me he was like the most 
I'll get credit for for that band is most writing credits. And I thought, mm, to be fair, Lewis is a very good writer. Listen to his own music now. Like, as I said about that tattoo, uh, that song, I fucking love Yeah, sorry, as I was saying, I do think... Oh, my God. I do think Lewis is a very good writer. Song, lyric, if, like, whatever you call it. But I do have a little bit of... Mm, not downside, well... I do think it, it was a little bit messy and it was very like jumpy it was very quick i know I, I know he only had a limited time i know it can only be so long it can't be too long i mean it was an hour and 44 minutes i mean bro is that kind of long but even in one of the scenes like he was talking and it just quickly cut him off and i thought was he did he finish talking or you know um the editing was very like 2020 2020 but yeah no overall fucking loved it i would definitely recommend it it was so good like like and just hearing his side of you know like i don't think any of them have done anything in like this like relating to like them reminiscing on that time and uh like how he did it anyway um if that makes sense i don't think none of them have come out as like a little documentary have they no they should though because it would be nice to hear like we've heard lewis's side now you know i want to hear the other boys they probably thought similar maybe obviously he, zane's just you know he his was a little bit different we understand now that we're older why he done what he done um but yeah, no, it was nice to hear Louis' side and hear what he had to say and how he felt and his yeah, emotions. It was good to understand his emotions, how he was feeling, etc. But yeah, no, it was really good. It was really interesting. It gave me a different insight of, you know, the boys, him, his life, how he does things his way compared to like, now the boys can put out albums like, like Niles putting out the show in June and that's like, and the last album he done was 2020 so you like we're in one direction they they had to do a uh an album every year so they were really overworked so it's good that they don't have to do that anymore which i think is nice but yeah no this um yeah, so it's nice for them to be able to actually focus actually write their music and not be pushed to do one a year one a year one a year i remember i see a clip and someone had to wake up saying to get like a bridge or something and i remember thinking Fuck, poor so just wants to have a little kip do you know what i mean um bless them no i'm glad they're i mean as long as they're happy i'm happy you know that's the main thing um but yeah let me guys know if you use that my previous video about this hair and the products that i sent you i actually put i actually washed my hair today and put in that shampoo and that conditioner now i just let it dry naturally so that's why i thought like, my hair's naturally frizzy um that's why it looks like this but it's curly as well it's a bit weird my hair yeah i know but um make sure you like comment share and subscribe and i love every single one of you thank you for letting me hit 212 now 